I always wanted to become a beast in Bloodborne, but it wasn't possible even if I filled the beast meter to 100%. However, with the Old Hunters expansion, turning into a beast is finally possible. Here's a quick guide on how I got the beast's embrace rune, which allows you to turn into a beast. First and foremost, make your way to the Hunter's Nightmare. Once you've arrived in the Hunter's Nightmare, proceed until you can enter the cathedral where you fought Vicar Amelia. You'll notice there's a cleric beast that's glowing in flames laying on an altar. Pick up the eye pendant from him, which will be used later to get into the research halls. Make your way to the first boss, Ludwig, and defeat him. After defeating Ludwig, proceed past him until you reach some stairs that will lead to two members of the healing church. Defeat them both and insert the eye pendant into the dead body on the altar. The altar will then lift up towards the next area. After you make it to the top, head back to the Hunter's Dream. Once back at the Hunter's Dream, teleport to the underground corpse pile. Once you arrive there, make your way back to where you inserted the eye pendant. You'll notice that there's a new altar in place of the altar you took up to the next area. Here you'll pick up Lawrence's skull. You find out Lawrence was the first vicar of the healing church and that he became the first cleric beast. Now make your way back towards the cathedral where the burning cleric beast was hanging out. Defeat Lawrence the first vicar and you'll receive the beast embrace rune. Head back to the hunter's dream and equip the beast's embrace rune. You'll notice you've now turned into a beast. If you have them, equip your beast claws and become a killing machine. While in beast mode, you'll be able to gain more damage, but you'll also take way more damage, so be careful. The beast claws also have some new attacks now that you're in beast form. When the beast claws are tricked, you gain a roar from your L2, you can do a flying attack that can stagger your opponent for backstabs, and you can use your light and heavy attacks for new combos. Of note, you can also use normal weapons in beast mode, but you will not charge your beast meter. Good luck with your beastly adventures, and stay tuned to GameSpot.com for continuing coverage of Bloodborne The Old Hunters.